Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at eigenvalues, eigenspaces, eigenvectors, all this stuff and uh, just like the generic idea uh, behind like the computations and stuff. Um, so this one's going to be a pretty concise video. Um, I'm going to be doing like more in-depth computational videos doing like uh, work through examples but this video is just going to be like on the ideas behind eigenvalues, eigenvectors, eigenspaces, that stuff so the computations actually start to make a bit more sense. So first let's let's consider some linear transformation and remember when we think of a linear transformation what we're doing is we take some vector, let's say this vector uh, v, and we apply, let's say, some linear transformation. Um, and let's say that linear transformation, we can kind of thinking of, think of it as like moving this vector to a different spot. And it might scale it a bit, it might rotate it, you know, it, it can do a lot of different things, right? And let's call this linear transformation L described by some standard matrix L. So then this blue vector here would be the output vector, kind of like our, the output of our function, which is the linear transformation, okay? So when we think of the, like linear transformations, um, we think of it as moving, moving a vector in space when we apply that linear transformation. So an eigenvector is just a special vector that has uh, like unique behavior when we apply linear transformation. And that behavior is that when we apply this that green linear transformation there, it means that we're going to stay on the same line that the initial vector spans. So I just highlighted right there. So that line, if after we apply our linear transformation to V, if our resultant vector is somewhere on this line, right, then we can say that V is an eigenvector. And that's pretty much it. Um, like, it's not a tricky concept, it's just not the most intuitive. So eigenvectors just mean that it's going to stay on the same line after we apply a linear transformation. And it makes sense when we look at the formula. So. If you might see somewhere in your lecture notes, we have some linear transformation described by a matrix A multiplied by some vector V. Let's uh, actually let me make sure these are in the same colors. So A, we'll put that in green for a linear transformation. And then we have our red vector V, which we are applying a linear transformation. And this is equal to some constant, which is called lambda multiplied by the vector v. So what this is saying is that like we are taking we're taking a vector v right there. We are applying a linear transformation a to it. And the result is just going to be the same vector v multiplied by some constant lambda. And that makes sense, right? Cool. So this that is uh, an eigenvector. V would be the eigenvector, and then the eigenspace is um, like it's the set of all vectors V where this holds true. So you might think that for every value of lambda that we can find, because in this in this example I've only shown like one uh, one vector V that works. But there could be multiple multiple vectors that work. And so each vector has a corresponding uh, vector space of solutions. And that's called our eigenspace. And that's pretty much it to, for eigenvalues and eigenspaces and eigenvectors. And um, that's all I wanted to get across in this video. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, computations behind, like, all of this stuff and it should make a lot more sense like having this foundation.